Hi, my name's Matt. Welcome back to the shop, and we are continuing the Easy Engine. This is part 12, and I know it's been a long time since the last one. I've had a lot on and all the rest of it, but we'll cut the excuses and let's get on with it. So in this episode, we are uh, machining the transfer ports or the transfer port um, straight into the cylinder. Now, because this is a billet construction in a sense, um, all out of solid extruded aluminium. I don't have the luxury of um, having to cast. Uh, I don't have the luxury of casting passages, so we basically have to come out with another way of doing it. So all I'm going to do is make a passage and drill a hole that goes from the exterior of the cylinder to obviously through the actual sleeve to the interior of the cylinder. Any road, let's get on with it. So as you can see, I've set up the um, cylinder blank in the vise. Now what I did at first was use the uh, main head bolts to basically give me a um, horizontal because the port is on to one side and the exhaust port is on the other side so to give me kind of like uh, to basically square it up because it's a round it's a cylinder at the end of the day I was going to use the bolts um, but the problem with doing that as you can see in this picture is at the back it's actually sat on threads it's not sat on the shank of the bolt so um, I quickly replaced this and um, used uh, some four millimeter drill rod so the holes are 1.4 at uh, 4.1mm uh, clearance holes for the 4mm head bolts. But in you know at the end of the day, as long as you press it down into the vise, then you can grab it. And I use parallels basically to space it out because um, the actual jaws on the vise aren't basically deep enough to hold this cylinder. Because it's got a I think it's a 70mm total diameter as the actual cylinder with the cooling fins and all the rest of it. Any rod. So we did that, and as you can see there, that's where you kind of get your square from. Um, the next thing I did was use some Sharpie and mark the uh, top of the fins and then I passed the end mill backwards and forwards over this, lowering it a bit and passing it backwards and forwards until I actually um, made a cut you can see there, which is around about the width of the tool. In this there was just a 3mm uh, three millimeter end mill in there anyway, so I just used that. Um, so you basically, you don't have to make a 3mm cut, uh, it just turned out that way when I was lowering it down and what have you. And then basically what I do is I level up the um, end mill itself so it sits in the middle of that gap. Then you have um, basically found centre. Without doing any weird trickery out, this is a quick way to find centre of a of a you know of a cylinder of a circle. So once I've done that, I basically set my uh, dial to zero. So now we have the centre line of the cylinder, and we'll basically I'll be doing all my measurements off that. Um, I then used an edge finder, I didn't get a picture of that, I used an edge finder to get the uh, base of the cylinder and then I stuck a 10mm roughing end mill. Now my original drawing said 8mm but uh, I sod it, be right. So the first thing I do is I make a pass all the way through, I'm doing 5mm deep all the way through until I reach where I want to stop. Um, then I back out again, back to my zero, move along and uh, the whole gap if I remember rightly is 32 millimeters wide. That's how wide this um, relief is. This little um, this uh, machine section is for this transfer pot to sit in. So then I basically go all the way out to my 32 millimeters, um, come in at this depth of five millimeters, and then cut across, and then go back out again, which leaves these little. Uh, art. You can see these little um, bits that haven't been machined. We can machine them later. I really don't care about that now. Uh, the next thing I do is go to the next step. We take another five millimeters. Now I'm going to be going 13 millimeters in total, so I took it in five millimeters, five millimeters, and then just the last three to equal 30. So there you can see I'm just nibbling away more and more and more each pass, and we've got these big sections in the middle. But we can come and clean them up now, like I'm doing. Just come in and just remove all that crap. And then there we have it, we have this relief in here. Now I have moved the relief one millimeter over um, because this engine is just a demonstration engine basically and I will adapt this after I've finished using it for the videos um, of how a two stroke works and how simple they are and all the rest of it. I will adapt this to a four stroke and because of oil galleries and uh, the, the cam chain and all the rest of it, um, it made it easier to adapt if I move this over one than I have to do little modifications when I come to make it a um, four stroke. More on that later anyway. So, um, 
basically I found uh, from the base and my saw went back to my centre and found out where I should stick the actual port. So we do that by, you know, I could just get a, a you can see there there's the 16mm end mill. It's a 16mm hole. I could just plunge that in, but with this little machine it's going to vibrate like crazy. And I don't suggest if you're going to do anything like that you do that anyway, unless you've got a really rigid machine. So I got a, I think this is a half inch, um, a half inch, quarter inch, this is a quarter inch um, centre drill, centred that out and then I think this is like an 8mm or something and then eventually a 12 um, to open up the hole and then we just went in straight in with the 16mm uh, end mill which gave me a nice, quite a nice finish. And you can actually see there in the picture, you can see the difference between the aluminium and then when it breaches through to um, the cast iron sleeve. Then I just went around with a 3.3mm um, drill and I drilled the holes for the transfer port cover, um, which I'm later going to thread. And then this is just some pictures of me threading it and what have you, just some fancy little pictures. I threaded all them and as you can see, uh, the threads are about 6mm deep before you actually hit the um, sleeve and obviously you can't go all the way through because that would mess up all your pressure and blah 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 blah. So um, yeah the holes are about 6mm deep and it's an M4 thread and I tap them and uh, obviously the uh, fasteners will go down in there, we just have to make the cap next. Um, there you go, you can see from the inside of the cylinder you can see the uh, opening for the uh, transfer and uh, yeah, so on this picture you can kind of make out that there's a one millimetre offset from the left hand side of this picture to the right hand side of this picture and you can see that there's that top screw right at the top in the centre that's offset and the reason why that's offset is because that hole now encroaches on or intersects the hole which is the main head bolt um, that runs all the way through the cylinder so when I make this a four stroke I can just open that out a bit and that can be our head gallery feed there's a better picture you can see that without the flash you can see that that one at the top is offset and there you have it that's the uh, transfer port side of things done and um, in the next video we'll be doing the exhaust port the exhaust port is symmetrical so that's uh, and it's a lot smaller to be quite honest it's a uh, it's basically half this size um, the actual the amount of machining that I have to do uh, still to the depth of uh, 13 millimeters and then once we've um, done the exhaust port, I can then do the transfer port cover. And then we can start looking at carbs and stuff and all the rest of it. So uh, thanks for your patience and all the rest of it. Um, please, you know, give me comments and stuff if you want to ask me questions or what have you. And I'll uh, see you in a bit.